It's time to earn your beads, ML Fanatics. We are live from the Terror Dome in New Orleans, Louisiana. And second thought, since most of you are trolls, orcs, and or uh, rotting, go ahead and keep those shirts on and just write the commish for your free beads. Yeah, this is going to be a bloody game. The teams are loading their weapons and sharpening their spikes. The Crooks and Skull Jugulars battle the New Gorland Zombies. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> It's a beautiful day for MFL football, at least in the booth with the AC, personal servants, and blood shield. Hi, Grim Blitzer here with you, along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. How are you guys doing? I'm doing that little hottie who works in deep fry at the concessions. He said how, not who, you idiot, even if you got the answer right. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. What a hit that was. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Second down in a hot, very lot. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. to the races. Holy mother of mutant mayhem, he scored! <laughs> and here comes the extra point attempt. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! First and ten. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, oh, pass the popcorn, Grim. Zoom in on his face, then his crotch. I want to see if he cries or pisses himself first. Second down and long. And there's a huge gain, and this offense is rolling. Come on, that was a pass play. Rolling plays are in bowling. Third down and six. <laughs> he dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And it's first and ten. Second down and 
Ain't gonna happen, partner. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. The defense better look out. The offense called the Beast Boost dirty trick. I'll shoot you in the head. But people like it! <laughs> well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. <laughs> and it's first and ten. He's not just burning down the house, he's taking it to the house. Bloody footprints to the new line. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Boom! Third down, and the punter is warming up. And they just popped his eyes in the back of his head. That quarterback's going to be hurting. Or dead. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. The return man catches the ball and heads up field. Mama, he just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. Man, what a hit that was. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. Look out. That's an all-out attack on the kid. If this guy could talk before he died, what do you think he'd be saying, Bricks? Psycho killer! First and ten. Perfect pass and a score! <laughs> well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but... This guy could blow it. Oh, 
straight through the uprights. At the end of the first quarter, this one looks like a rout. Someone give me a beer. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. First down. Is that right, Glenn? That penalty makes no sense. Hey, something ain't kosher here, and I'm not talking about the corned beef with extra mayo. You, you, it's, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this is a first and long. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Yeah, you're going to take it. I'm only going to have it. First down in a mile. And he just slipped away like a grease. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. catch on the play. Every little bit counts. Those three yarders might grow up to be somebody one day. Second down and seven. Talk about Butterfingers. He should have had that one. And that'll bring up third down and seven. will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will slice its way through any defensive player trying to block it. This really puts the fun back in football, don't it, Rick? If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. First and ten. Quarterback passes for a touchdown. He deserves to celebrate like that after such a hard drive. <laughs> I'm killing myself here. Hey, what did I say about puns? Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. He refuses to go down. And he runs it for four yards. Second down and six. Line, 
the way a Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. And it's first and ten. Remember, folks, in the NFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback just like that. Second down in a mile. That's a big game run on that. Third down and, well, good luck. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. And he's got a chance for a good... Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Plus the opposite thing, because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. a vicious hit and the crowd loves it he just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant me and you can't hit a guy much harder than that and that is unfortunate and it's first and ten and the two minute warning sounds time to get a beer hey get me one too and it's first and ten Hot one And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. Second down in a lot. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Third down and the punter is warming up. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. That one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. <laughs> they've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. That's it. That's their last time out. It's them against the other team and the clock. Ah, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer on the field and even the odds. Hot. Hot one. Hot. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Third down and long. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. Second down in a very lot. Zips that one in there for a touchdown. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. 
It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. Footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Second down and ten. He runs it for three. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh boy, where we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, we're gonna go to a strip tease show, where we going? Hey, why don't you settle down, just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. <laughs> the teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. This guy's a brick shithouse. run for five yards <laughs> second down and five hot, hot one hot two hot, hot, hot. and this guy is on fuego does he like his original or extra crispy <laughs> by the looks of it extra crispy i think the defenders are scared of this guy bricks and they have every right to be And it's first and ten. The quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick and the QB is in a heap of trouble now. <laughs> Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one, hot two, hot Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Hey. Ouch, that's got to hurt. Man, those mutant traps will kill you faster than one of Brick's parts. First and ten. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Second down and two. particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline.
First down and three. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. <laughs> Don't make any mistakes here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. away and he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored nice. if you don't kill this ref with the attack ref dirty trick you're gonna lose pal you kind of deserve it if you're this dead scrim <laughs> the offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit yeah but on the bright side win they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore Second down and a lot. And they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. <laughs> Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And that's the way you do it. Eat up chunks of yards with pinpoint passing. Third down and, well, good luck. He could go all the way. Oh, big catch, big run, big touchdown. The beat for Bray Graham with a ball and didn't fall down. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco. Looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. And that'll be 
second and eight to go. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Third down and eight. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, with a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. Quarter three comes to an end, but this game is far from over and will be decided in the final quarter. Second down and five. You've got to catch that. Third down and five. target more often and it's first and ten and the quarterback drills one in for the first down and it's first and ten Carrier just got skewered. <laughs> and that's the end of his day. And viewers at home, don't worry, he doesn't have fleas. He's just not a very good dancer. I have fleas and I can't dance that good. I would uh, think you to stay on the other side of the booth, Bricks. <laughs> Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. The defense calls it a sticky ball dirty trick, and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> He's trying to throw the ball. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my offseason. Second down and six. It's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost injection. Close your eyes, Bricks. This is going to get ugly fast. Ah. 
Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet. Now these guys need to talk to the ref about those calls, and by talk, I mean stomp him into the ground. <laughs> Second down, and we've got a... Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Second down in a mile. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Third down and the QB is saying his prayers. Completion. They are moving the ball now with authority. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. Oh, I love the mic. Oh, the defense must have called a hot potato dirty trick. That'll wake you up and then put you to sleep permanently. You snooze, you lose. Unless you're in a sleeping contest. And it's first and ten. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. And he just... And they run it for a couple of yards. Third down and six. And the two-minute warning sounds. They'll have to regroup during this timeout. Third down and six. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? First down and three. He picks up a two. And that'll bring up second and one. And the crowd goes wild. Touchdown. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. He is fighting for every yard. That's a pass and catch for a new game. Then how is it a pass?
second down and 10. And they take their first time out. Uh, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out there in halftime. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? And the running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. This is the game. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? We're not talking about waking up at the crack of noon. We're talking about the MFL, you moron. Okay, Briggs. Let's go get the car warmed up, huh? It's not over yet, Junior. Uh, come on, Grim. Well, uh, contractually speaking for a commentator, it's not anyway. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Well, the zombies are DOA on their home field. And they look dead in a room full of senior Republican leaders. They battled hard, but didn't have enough to get it done. They should be ashamed of themselves. I know I am. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.